He wrote 56 pages laying out his philosophy of the modern world. He called it industrial society and its future. We call it his manifesto. So he sends the bombs as messages. He's struggling to make himself heard. So what's the message? Technology sucks. <laughs> Technology sucks. And we are basically screwed. <laughs> I mean, the bomber just opened the door into his mind. I don't need to step through it, so... Opening line. The Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been a disaster for the human race. Technology was supposed to set us free, but it doesn't. Like the car thing. Cars were invented, and then we're all suddenly free to go wherever we want. But then, basically, it becomes mandatory to have a car. So instead of becoming more free, we become more limited, more constrained. I mean, every city and society is all rearranged around cars until you can't even buy food without driving somewhere. I mean, they forced upon us. And TV seemed harmless, too, before we flipped them around. We put CCTV cameras everywhere and turned it into a tool to watch us. We, we can't even drive fast if we're in a hurry or slow if we want to chill out. We started in charge. Now we're slaves to our own technology. Human beings are being permanently reduced to engineered products and mere cogs in a social machine. Deprived of dignity, autonomy, and freedom. The only option available to us is obedience. We're being turned into caged rats. Distracted from the maze by the meaningless cheese we're running after. Status, promotion, money, nicer cars, bigger houses, more TVs. Blasted with entertainment, trusted with therapy and Prozac. Until you don't even want to be free anymore. If you can't be adjusted, the psych ward.